Well, good morning again. We're back. Today we will discuss suffering. So suffering. Why does it happen? What? Why do we have to experience it? Why does it suck so bad? Plain and simply, suffering is necessary. Suffering is life. Like the Buddha said, all of life is suffering. That is the nature of this reality. It is to suffer. Why should we suffer? Why is it necessary to suffer? Well, plain and simply, without climbing the mountain, you'll never know how strong you can be. That's a nice metaphor, right? It's fun. It's like, oh yeah, of course I gotta climb the mountain. Does it always feel fun climbing the mountain? Hell no. That mountain is fucking high. You're huffing and puffing. Your legs are burning. You don't want to walk. The wind is blowing hard. It's getting cold. You're sweaty. It sucks. But once you reach the, reach the mountain peak, once you reach the height of the mountain, knowing that it's inevitably there, you feel accomplished. You're stronger now because you've climbed the mountain. You have a better perspective once you're at the peak. All of life is suffering simply because that's, that's what's going to happen. That's how we learn. Those who have been hurt the most love the deepest. Those who have understood heartbreak truly understand love. Those who have understood sickness truly understand health. Those who have truly understood lack truly no abundance. It's that dichotomy of the deepest wells will produce the highest heights. It's this contrast in life, and this is what life is about. It's about experiencing contrast, and from the contrast, honing in on our desires, honing in on what it is we want to achieve in this reality, and allowing God, creative force, infinite presence to move through us, managing all outside circumstances so that that desire comes forth into fruition. Suffering is, is necessary. Suffering is inevitable. It's going to happen. The real task is, how are you going to react when the suffering comes about? When somebody tells you you're sick, how are you going to react? Are you going to get distraught and just let that be it? Or are you going to feel sadness in that moment? And as soon as you recognize that sadness is your thought in disconnection with your higher self, with your God self, now receiving an emotion sadness or a feeling of sadness, and then moving from there. Taking your thoughts to better feeling thoughts. You know what? I am healthy. My body does have this miraculous healing process. There's so many miracles that happen in the body. My body can be one of those bodies that heals itself. Blah, 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 blah. And you keep going with that. You have to choose to be a victor and no longer a victim. That is how suffering is eased. You will experience suffering. You will experience heartache. You will experience sadness. You will experience all the craziness of this reality. However, it is always your choice to truly, truly, truly experience the suffering or to experience all the beauty that will come from the suffering. Be aware. Have awareness. That is how the Buddha released suffering. He was aware of who he was. Infinitely, truly, his highest self is God. Is the creative source. His infinite intelligence. If you can take that awareness with you, when you're scared, when you're fearful, it's all an illusion and it all disappears. That's it for today. I love you guys. Talk to you soon.